Today, we're diving into one of the best texturing software out there, called Instamat. Calling Instamat a texturing software is really underselling it, because it is a whole system for handling assets, built with scalability in mind. But what does being scalable mean? It means your work isn't locked to just one model, material, or asset. Instead, you are creating something flexible, more reusable, and what can be adapted across dozens or even hundreds of assets, depending on your project. This video is brought to you by Abstract, but I wouldn't be wasting time if I didn't think this software is gonna be worth your while. Instamat recently released a new update, jam-packed with awesome features, like viewport ray tracing, new material effects like sheen and clear coat, upgraded painting, new masks, and a lot of things that you might not find in other software. Things that you might not even know you needed. And here is a basic one that every artist has faced at least once in their lifetime. You are texturing a model and need to adjust the UVs. Normally, that would mess up your textures and brush strokes, forcing you to redo the work. But in Instamat, texturing is applied independently of the UV layout, meaning that if changes are made to the mesh's UVs, no texture work is lost. Here is another example. Say I'm making a material and I want to use it on more assets. In most tools, you can save it as a smart material. But when applied to other models, you have to redo masks, decals, and retarget every section. In Instamat, you just drag and drop the package into another model. And with the right setup, the same material can scale to as many assets as you need. And I can't emphasize how powerful this is, especially for big projects. And Instamat is able to achieve this through multiple really clever features. For example, mesh and submesh masks, which let you reuse the same material setup across complex models, while still controlling exactly which parts of the mesh it affects. So you don't need an ID map. As long as your mesh isn't connected to an actual mesh, you can easily mask it. Volume and stroke painting project details directly in 3D space, so your brush strokes stay consistent even when you apply them to very different shapes. This also helps with texture preservation, which makes sure that when you bring a material package onto a new object, all your existing work remains intact. The Udemy workflow is especially powerful, because you can paint across multiple tiles, as if they were a single texture. And when it is time to export, Instamat automatically splits them into separate Udems for you. Prefab layer materials make it easy to save groups of layers as reusable templates, so one change can update across multiple assets. And finally, the element graph, which deserves a whole video series by itself. It lets you expose all the parameters under the hood to really hone in exactly the look of your assets. And what's even more impressive is that the layers and element graph nodes aren't a completely separate workflow, which means you can jump between the two seamlessly, and you can drag and drop a template or a layer stack into the element graph and use nodes instead. But if you prefer layers, you can do that as well. So these are the ways that Instamat gives you real scalability, I mean in your workflow. We are only scratching the surface here, and there is a lot more that this tool can do. I didn't talk about the Instamat pipeline, where it allows you to batch process assets and even automate the whole pipeline from the command line. If you want to see me dive deeper into Instamat and cover more of its features, let me know in the comments section down below. And while you can grab Instamat for free right now, by clicking the link in the description, the developers were kind enough to provide a 10% discount code for all viewers on Instamat Pro license. Just use the code INSPIRATION2025 at checkout to get a 10% off. This offer is valid until the end of the year, so give it a spin and let me know what you think. And there you have it guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to the channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.